Rocket League is extremely close to my heart. watch YouTube videos like from John Sandman, Sunless Khan, Mamerti and Musty. But so recently riots in the Rocket League community and I just want to tell my 260 subscribers, thank you very much for that by the way, I just want to tell them where it all started. So it all started when Psyonix or Rocket League got bought out by Epic Games and I and there's a stigma when you get bought by Epic Games that your game your game's quality plummets and got bought on December 4th of 2019 I believe or middle 2019 and it was not a cheap purchase they had to cough up 200 million just to buy Rocket League that's like and then they made a post over joining the Rock, the Epic Games family and that's like Rocket League is like that one nephew you only see at family gatherings and he sits like in the in the corner and he looks at you and he asks you do you have games on your phone that's what that's what Rocket League currently is to the Epic Games family. So a few months later, they removed crates and keys. And if you don't know what that is, that's like... It's like gambling, basically, because you buy a key and then you gamble for something better. So this can be good because there was a... It's, a, it's like gambling. So somebody probably got a black market and then thought, hey, let me go and gamble for real. And they probably lost their house because of Rocket League. So that's probably the good part. But the extremely bad part is for the community because like John Sandman and... Just because... Another endo! Titanium White, please! Make this the best great opening. Yo! <laughs> Patient certified! Oh, this was my second favorite. Look at all the good stuff. Yes! Already! Oh my God, yes! Oh, baby! What's up? We did. But see, now I don't know if I should title it 60 Crate Opening. But I lost half of it. Like, now I just seem like. Whoa! Dope! 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 Put that in your title! All those YouTubers, they, they, they didn't have content anymore because they used to do like crate openings, crate battles. That was content. And it was the version 1.70 patch. So that's already a huge part of the content that's just gone. After that, nothing nothing special. A few RLCSs weren't gone. And then on the 5th of December 2023, so this is, what, four years after, that I removed player-to-player -player trading. So first they took away crates and keys, what made the game good for gamblers. And then they removed trading. So now trading was not it. Let me read this to you. Player to player trading will be removed from Rocket League on the 5th of December at 4 p.m. PST. We're making these changes or this change to align with Epic's overall approach to game cosmetics and item shop policies where items are not tradable, transferable or sellable. This opens up future plans for some Rocket League vehicles to come to Epic Games over time, supporting cross game ownership. This was not well received by the community at all. Uh, Yes. Now, if that was not enough, then you take two parts of your main game, two parts of all the content of the game, trading and crates, you take that away. It's like when you go to Minecraft and you tell guys, oh, you can no longer chop down a tree, you can't craft anymore. That's, that's extremely stupid. But all of this, people were still playing the game and they still will continue to play a game into eternity. But now, recently, before RLCS 2024, there was some, uh, they released a patch note and they said a few things. 
So they go and announce that the minimum age requirement to be a pro is 13. Now let me explain to you. I didn't see that as a problem before I did some research because I thought, yeah, 13, 13 euros can make money now. But it's different. It's way different than we think. Because to be a pro in Rocket League, they have to grind 24-7, 365. Now, if you actually want to be a pro and you're and you're at that level when you're 12 or 13, then you basically have to drop out of school or just not go to school at all or have be homeschooled. Because if you want to if you're if you're on that level and you want to stay there, you're gonna have to play 24-7. That's the only way you're gonna stay at that level. So it can be damaging because some Rock League pros they have spoken up. That's just the outside perspective. And I feel y'all because I did the same damn thing. I did the same thing as y'all. I looked at all these people and I was like, oh my God, dapper, squishy. I want to be like them. Are you serious? I want to play games and I want to. But it's a lot of shit that comes with it. It's not just as simple as hopping on the game and playing and it's all fun and no. On the, the, the requirements of being a pro, it's extremely taxing on the people. So imagine you have to put a 13 year old, he has to play one game to six to seven hours a day. I don't, and I don't think that 13 year olds will tell their parents, hey dad, you can retire because I'm hitting a ball around on a field with a car. That's not one of the best. Rocket League is so drastic, we now have 13 Rocket League organizations sending an open letter to Psyonix stressing their frustration with the current monetary system for how they can actually make revenue by holding an RLCS spot and with that spot belonging to the players, how they feel quite vulnerable given the current league circumstances. And why I said long time coming, I touched on this many a months ago with the open letter that went viral on Reddit to Psyonix about the tournament structure and of course the qualifier structure and as it being a pro player, uh, the limited time event when it comes time for outside of rival series or championship series this has been a long time coming and amidst all of those 13 teams who have now pretty much called out Sonix for a response for a lack of communication on several issues you know g2 nrg mouse sports vitality we also have veloce on the team endpoint space station rogue amidst many other teams who have now called out Sonix for a variety of issues this made it extremely bad for their organizations because now they have to work with the kids parents and everything but that's not all then Rocket League goes and they take the the praise pool and they make it less and then they thin it out so now the, the now more players will get paid so but that in, in, in turn makes the top players to get less money so that's why organizations like stop participating in the RLCS I would also personally I would also do that because if Le unless you're moist critical and you have a lot of money and you can keep moist esports going while you lose money that's fine but i think uh, other esports orgs they 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 like making money i think as everybody does but i just i don't see rocket league doing anything but they because they don't listen to their community they don't so the, the my predictions for this game is the game is going to be stagnant and then it's going to be like this for a while but the only thing that's going to carry Rock League is the the championship series, RLCS and Worlds. That's the only thing that's going to carry them. And now the pro players, they have spoken up about this, but I don't think Epic Games will either change. But somebody said that Fortnite is introducing trading. So I think they're going to argue if Fortnite can have trading, the game that stole from us, they stole our developers for Rock, Rocket racing the if they can have trading then we also should be allowed to have trading but this is also one of the big things that the people they are comparing rocket league to fortnite because fortnite gets update after update content update content season pass and then rocket league you just get a better field uh an old field brought back and i just put grass in a field that's what that's what they get so i don't know what the future of rocket league holds but i'm excited to see it and thank you